conditions didn't look the best, but you know, the old you gotta go anyway. I had a look last night and it was like a south easter kind of east flow of 29 days. Chuck down a hard body just to mix it up and first cast literally that bad boy. What a bad fish. That's for Parla down in slimy mackerel looking thing. Pretty stoked. I've got singles in that one, so that was a good hookup actually for the singles this time. Stoked. Actually thought I was getting a donut and on the plastics. Well I did. I guess chuck out a hard body fan. Just sometimes you just need that rattle. So this is the lure I switched up to from soft plastic because I just wasn't getting those hits. First cast literally on the hard body just smashed it. I thought it was a bigger fish but the Jews are due I guess so take a not the key, but the catch. So basically I'm going to snap a picture of this fish and uh, show you guys how I go through that process. Uh, this is my fish here, he's in a rock pool just chilling out. Um, I basically keep him in the rock pool so I can do a live photo of the fish, they're not dead. And also if I'm going to do a good release with a healthy release so those fish go home strong I'll let them get their energy back basically swim them until they're ready to go and release them back into the ocean all right to start off with basically I get me camera out um, I'm not the best photographer in the world I, I do learn from a lot other guys um, they're obviously got a lot more skill.
skills than me when it comes to photos. A lot of the guys I talk to have done photography their whole lives. But unfortunately, I told you I'm not a photographer and I have left my SD card at home. So there goes the opportunity of snapping a photo on my good camera. This is a Nikon D. Nikon D5100. This is a 50mm manual lens. Um, can be tricky sometimes using this guy. Try not to get focused by yourself. It's uh, it basically I can set it on video and then I'll try and get my focus from there. Um, after that I'll run through what I usually do. I'll go into here. Everything's set in manual on my camera so I shoot raw and manual. I'll then basically go through and I'll pick out the shutter speed that I want to shoot at and that's all depending on the lighting and then the aperture and I like to have a bit of a blurry background in my photos so the main focus is on the subject and the subject is the fish and then the guy and then the background kind of blurred behind him um, that's just how I like to shoot everybody's different but yeah I'll go through that next time and show you guys how I shoot with this today I'm just going to shoot with the GoPro and get a quick snap oh hey wait, wait up nah here it is I found it idiot all right let me show you guys how I shoot a photo okay well as you saw before I thought I left this at home but it was at the bottom of the box that's me just being silly um, like I said I'm not a professional photographer basically what I'll do is I'll just run through my camera um, I do want to get an a Z6 one day but they're an expensive camera I think they're about two thousand uh, two to three thousand just for the body and then a lens for that camera was I priced it like for a, like a half decent one was 800 bucks so you know three thousand eight hundred bucks is something I haven't got to spend right now on a camera but any old DSLR will do you can use the phone these days they're pretty well I prefer these cameras I think the quality in the photos over a phone and once you learn the editing side of the photos you've got so much control over it especially shooting in raw and in manual um, so basically I'll start with this and this is my shutter speed so this number you can see moving here is my shutter speed and I just turn this dial I'll basically snap a shot and then get my focus in snap a shot and just check out the lighting um, obviously the faster you shoot it the less light gets into the camera so the darker the photo and then the slower the speed the brighter the photo as you can see there that's brighter and I just knocked the speed off um, I like to shoot a bit darker because I do editing at home and I like to take out as much exposed light as I can because I can add just a touch if I need to. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm shooting in 1.4, that's as wide as this lens opens. So basically that'll just blur my whole background and I'll be the subject in that photo. Now the tricky part with this is setting it up to get yourself in the photo with a fish. So basically I'll find an area um, that I can shoot with not much background in it. Um, as all fish shows don't like showing their spots but I do like to shoot with no background even if people do know my spots I still you gotta kind of protect what you have a little bit 
Um, all, all happy for teaching people how to catch fish and the rest of it. I just don't usually give away where I'm fishing because put in some time and you'll figure it out and then hopefully I'll see you out there. Now, I've got this. So, the best thing for this now is to put something in your distance from for your focal length. So I'll usually get me rod. It's probably why there's so many rods in my pictures because I use them just to guide my focal distance. Now my focal distance will depend on this here. So this is why it's so fun to be a solo fisho. It's hard work being a solo fisho and producing the photos and the media side of it. Because you put in a bit of work. Now basically, if I can get this right, I'll get down nice and low. A, a tripod would be easier, but you don't want to carry one everywhere either. You find the kind of height you want to shoot at, which to me that would be pretty good. Now, I'm using the rod and the lure just to get my focal point, but I like to see the fish is going to be forward from that focal point. Basically, I'll get that focal point on that rod and reel and then I'll bring it forward from that focal point because my fish is going to be, and me are going to obviously be more forward than that because that's hard up against the rocks. Then, hit my timer which is a 20 second timer and I'll go stand there because the fish is in a pool remember it can breathe it's not going to die then I'll hit my timer then I'll go stand there now I'm standing here waiting for the camera to shoot so I can see what my photo will look like Okay, now, basically, I check out those photos to see what the, um, check out those photos to see the focal point on my hands. Um, they're pretty clear. There is a lot of mist out here at the moment, but the, f the hands are pretty clear, so I'm happy with that, that being the focal point for the fish. I'm not so much in the photo, but, so that's all right. We don't always need our head in it. My head, anyway. Um, I'll shuffle around a bit, and I'll see if I can snap one. The thing with shooting photography is You've always got to shoot with the sun behind you or beside you. You never want the sun directly in front of you. Um, basically, it just adds too much exposure to those pictures. Now, basically with the camera, I've got it set up now where I'm kind of happy with it. I've changed spots because I couldn't get my whole self in the frame. I found a new spot. Got the sun behind me. I figured it all out from that. Um, and also the salt spray. I've got the camera facing away from the salt spray to stop that fogging. So now I'll just do a test run. We'll see how that goes. Just gonna see the 
clarity on that photo. As you can see on that photo, with the rod behind me, he's in focus, but I'm not in focus, so my focal point's behind me, and this is where I've got to learn to drag my focal point forward um, from that picture there. So basically, I've got to put it out of zoom to be in zoom from that rod focal point. And I'll try that again now. Alright, I got my fish out. Now I've reattached the lure that I caught that fish on. That's why I shoot video as well, because I like to show that I caught those fish on those exact lures. Um, I've got it set up now. Now I'll try and shoot this photo of the um, fish in a good quality. See how we go. on the money there we go look at that a nice clear image blurred background um, so it takes a while that's why I swim these fish in rock pools to get that picture but yeah I got one stoked Phew. all right it's packing up the camera and I'll give this fish a measure And then I'll go home and do some further editing on that with the um, special editing program. Let's give this guy a measure. He's pushing 79. Um, I am going to take this one home. I haven't had fish for a while, so. And I think that's fine. I've got three kids to feed and a missus, and they all like fish. And I'm going to go have a crack at this fella. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of the ghost fishing and thanks for watching everyone. It all means a lot. Um, different episode this time, just talking a little bit about camera gear. Um, I can get into more detail with that if you'd like. I'm still learning. There is a guy I learn a lot from, uh, Mayo Fishing on Instagram. But basically, he's been helping me a little bit with how to shoot a camera. His pictures are incredible in my eyes. I think he's one of the best fishing photographers. Um, but yeah, if you need to know any more, give us a shout. Uh, yeah, so if you guys are happy with that, give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment so I can um, keep going. Um, I haven't dropped a video in a while, so I need to get one going for you guys. Thanks for everyone who watches. And one other question, do you guys prefer using soft plastics or hard bodies? I'm in the air with both, um, different conditions for me. Anyway, cheers, peace.